2017, for some reason, I decided, you know what? I feel like making a save system for my games. This was at the time around like when Sonic Classics 3 was being made, and at the time, I tried to make something like that, but it didn't work. So, in 2017, I made a save system for Sonic Classics 4. Now, Sonic Classics 4 is, was cancelled, and so now we have this big mess that I made in 2019. That somehow works? I honestly don't know how. But, I'm gonna try and break it down on how I made all this work. So, without further ado, let's begin. So starting things off, uh, this does actually work. I'm going to turn on the variables that show everything, like a level cloud, level complete cloud, selection, boss HP, etc. Actually, I took this from my game, Khufu Adventure, um, and it has boss HP and level cloud and level complete cloud. This is because in that game, you go through levels, and it saves your data each time you finish a level. Now, what that means that is now it knows what level you are on, and which ones you've completed, so then it doesn't get all cr crazy. And of course, level, and level complete, and stuff like that. And section. This is all, un the section part I feel like is unnecessary. Level complete and level cloud are the more important ones. So, let me break this down for you. So this is the save system list, which has my name on it. So, you might be wondering, why it's on there, we'll get to that later, because right now we're going to talk about how all of this works. I'm not completely sure, but I'm going to try and break it down. So, it, so if you see here, it has a, if not save system list, contains username, then it adds your username. Now, that since this works on Scratch, it would obviously use your Scratch username, and obviously mine being Luigi underscore bro, which I think is pretty cool. However, this doesn't think- I don't think this even needs to be used. I think I added it back then thinking, oh, this was going to save each per person's data. No, everyone's data is saved by itself. Although I cannot confirm this, this is just me speculating over the years from me thinking, oh, that's how that works. It's not completely 100% true, it's just speculation from my, me. Now let's get into the more complicated side of things. So obviously if username doesn't, if it's not, your username's not in it, it will add it and set your section to zero for Khufu obviously, level to zero, and your level complete to zero, meaning that you're starting over. Now, you can make a delete, it has a delete save option, so then when you click it, then, um, oh no, actually, wait. So apparently this is broken in some way, where it's what it's supposed to do. I'm going to delete all real fast, so nothing is here. What it's supposed to do is delete your username, and then add it back, and then set everything to zero. It's like here, I have my name back. Click on this. Huh. So apparently this is busted. I don't know how to fix it, but it doesn't matter. Again, like I said, from my theory, it doesn't matter. And now here's the save system part, which, for some reason, I decided to make in the weirdest way possible. So, it's, you know when you usually save a game, it tells you not to, like, get off or anything. Well, here's the difference between those and this. This is always saving your data, meaning every time, every frame, it's checking to see if it can save, and if it can, it will. Of course, lag can stop this, but it doesn't matter, because in the next frame, it has open, it will save. And this go and you might- and this is where the normal- where the normal variables come in, because Variables that aren't cloud variables are not saved globally, like to the cloud. What they do instead is they 
set a certain certain amount for each time you play. And what this does is that it sets the level cloud, complete cloud, or level cloud, let's just use level cloud because it's easier. So it sets the level cloud to the level that you're on. And I've made it so that when you start the game, it doesn't reset which level you're on, meaning that it saves what level you are on last. I know it may sound a bit repetitive and kinda complicated, and I mean, yeah, I don't know how I figured this out, but I did. And now the save. So here you see if not level f equals 5 or level complete equals 5. This was mainly for um, Khufu Adventure again. Once you finish the game, it takes it to the credits. That's what it can be used for. However, what this does is for the save icon. Now, warning, this save icon is not mine. I just searched it up. I was stupid back then at 10. But let me, but as you can see here, the broadcast save, clicking on it will send this up, and then it saves and brings it down. However, the animation is completely useless because Scratch saves everything automatically. However, this can ensure that if lag does happen, that all of it will be saved, which is kind of the good thing about this being a forever block. And yeah, that's mainly all there is to it. Now, of course, there are some stuff that is flawed, like again, the username system not even being relevant, and everything else. But it doesn't matter. Because it works somehow. Don't ask me how, because it's still a mystery to me. This is Sonic Classics Frenzy. Now, Sonic Classics Frenzy was a fan game that I worked on a long time ago. Like, 2017, again, when I made the original save system. However, I made the original save system in 2017, this being it. However, that save system I just showed you was a modification of this. Because, as you can see, it still has the username. If it can, but, it's a bit better. Because if it contains your username, then it will set your score instead of automatically doing it even if you don't have a s username. Meaning, the username actually has a purpose. So if you don't have a username, you can't save your game. It's like having an, account, an EA account. Huh. Anyways, the game works perfectly fine with this because I made this for the game. Now, something like Kufu Adventure, I had to modify it to make sure that it works because the engine was different and the level layout was different. And there was one more in Sonic 4 Episode 3. However, it is very very complicated, and I, it would take me so long to try and find all the pieces that go into it. And the main reason being is that it does use the save system feature, but it's broken up into different sprites. I don't know why I did this. I made this game in 2019, and it was a hassle to make. Trust me, rushed mess, do not play it. But still, an absolute mess. And it still works. Like, if I play the game right now, which I'm going to, turn down my volume real fast. Now, I'm going to play through the game real fast, which, trust me, is very boring. So, I'm going to cut you to the point where it shows all my stuff. And then I'm going to delete my save to show that it does indeed work. So, <laughs> I guess I'll meet you in a bit. Okay, so, I have finished the game. Meaning I have... Okay, so I guess that means that this game was completely rushed <laughs> and I wasted all my time. Um.